Hi, this is Russell Stunner from teachertrainingvideos.com. Some of my videos on Zoom on YouTube have been played 400,000 times, 150,000 times, 100,000 times. And I get emailed loads and loads of questions or even in the comment section, as well as I do a lot of training where people are always asking me about screen sharing. Now there's actually one super important thing to understand and I, most of the questions are related to this problem. So I'm gonna show you and demonstrate the most important thing to understand about screen sharing. And once you understand this, you really basically understand how screen sharing works. So really hope you like the video. And as always, if you do, please like it, please share it. And of course, if you've got any comments, please leave them in the comments section. One thing that you must understand about screen sharing. Off we go. Okay, so I'm on Zoom, and let's imagine that I want to screen share. And when I click on the screen share button, what you need to understand is what you've got at the moment with the current settings and with the standard settings is that Zoom will show you every single application that you've got open on your screen. Now, let's imagine that we screen share, for example, this application, which in my case is my Google Chrome browser. So we click on the Google Chrome browser and we start to share it. So now we're on the Google Chrome browser. Now if I jump to any other tab in the Google Chrome browser, everyone will be able to see what I'm doing. However, if I jumped over to another application, for example, while I was screen sharing, I simply jumped over to another tab and clicked on, on another application, sorry, and for example, clicked on. Now, the people watching me will not see that because Zoom is sharing my Google application and not my, for example, this one is Microsoft Edge. In other words, you screen share an application and if you jump to a different application, then the people can't follow you. And what you need to do now is to go up to screen share click on new screen share and sh and you can see at the moment what I'm screen sharing see I need to tell it no I don't want to screen share this application anymore I want to screen share this application so now when we click screen share yes now the people can see me however the same thing if I now go back to the other application and I open up my Google Chrome browser, again, I've got to go back, click on new share and say, no, I'm now screen sharing Google Chrome and screen share. Now, the reason that happens is because the settings that you've currently got are share an application. You can overcome that problem and this is something that people don't realize. There's just one setting that we need to change. So just to make that absolutely clear, when you click on the share button, it opens a window and you get the chance to decide what application you want to share. So for example, you click on that application and you share that. Now, if you jump to another application, doesn't matter what it is. So for example, if I come down and jump to Snagit and I clicked on Snagit, which is another application that I sometimes use, I know my users can't see this because if I go to my share and I click on new share, I can see that they are still seeing my Google Chrome application because that is what I shared. Now I can change some settings that I'm gonna show you now that completely change the way that Zoom works. So I'm just gonna close that window down and to do this, all I need to do, I'm gonna stop sharing a minute and come back to the, uh, the Zoom application. I'm gonna click over here and I'm gonna click on video settings and I'm gonna come over to screen share and I'm gonna change this to automatically share desktop. Now, now Zoom is gonna work in a completely different way. Look what happens when I screen share now. Because I've said automatically share desktop, Zoom is gonna share anything that I've got open on my desktop. So it doesn't matter if I click on this button, notice straight away that it doesn't bring me into a box where I choose which thing I want to share. No, it simply 
screen shares whatever I've currently got open on my desktop. And that means that if I now jump over to my Google Chrome, for example, that it's gonna screen share that. And if I move over to uh, my, uh, for example, Microsoft Edge, now it's gonna screen share that. Now the problem with doing this, and obviously there are lots of good things about doing this, it does mean of course that basically anything that you click on on your desktop, on your desktop sorry, everybody will see. If you understand that, you understand how screen sharing works. So I'm sure you're gonna to say to me now, well Russell then, using the desktop rather than sharing a specific application is the solution. Well, no it isn't always, and let me explain why. You don't always know what you've currently got open on your desktop. So for example, let's say I click on the screen share button now. Ah! It's Google Edge that I'm currently focused on. Remember, you will only have one thing currently showing on your desktop at any one time. So then that might not be what you wanna share. And then suddenly you've gotta jump down to the bottom here and then jump to the application or the, the exactly the application that you wanna share. So that's always the problem. It can be a bit of a surprise. You click on screen share and what currently, whatever application you've currently got open on your desktop, that is what will come up on the screen. So there's always a bit of an issue with privacy. So you've got to be very careful if you use that setting. Though it is useful, of course, because it means that you can't go wrong. If you screen share and then you jump to another application, you don't have to worry. You know that your followers are following everything you're doing. Now, there's one other little thing. You might say to me, Russell, well, how do I screen share my interactive whiteboard? Because now, of course, when you click on the screen share button, let me just come back. If you click on screen share, it doesn't give you an option. It goes straight in to the current application that you've got open on your desktop. Well, you don't have to worry there. You can still share your interactive whiteboard by just coming up to the top, clicking on new share, and it will open up that window again. And then you can jump back and say, well, I actually, I don't wanna share my desktop. I wanna share my interactive whiteboard and now you can do that, okay? But just remember, there is a danger when you share your desktop as the only application, or in other words, you share your desktop, is that basically you're not sharing an application now, you're simply sharing whatever is the current thing that you've got open on your screen of your computer. I hope that's clear. I'm trying to make that as clear as I can to people who are perhaps not sort of au fait with the way that the technology works, but there's a massive difference between sharing an individual application and sharing your desktop. If you want more free videos, please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com and click on Zoom, for example, and you've got loads of videos about working with Zoom. If you want to follow my work, the best thing to do is to sign up to the newsletter. That way you get updated with all the latest videos, the blog posts, the webinars, the online courses I run. Of course, you can also sign or subscribe to my YouTube channel. And don't forget to click on the bell to get the updates from YouTube when I add up new videos. And if you do want to contact me about doing some training with your organization, then you can contact me from the website and thank you very much.